Hi, my name is Bryce and I made a cover of the song Tech It by Kafune here on YouTube and this is a guitar tutorial video on how I played that cover. So no, this is not a 100% accurate to how Kafune plays it, but this is how I played it. And with that being said, what you're going to need is one of these, a capo, and you're going to capo the first fret. And just to keep everything consistent and whatnot, I'm going to say things like G shape and A minor and E minor shape. I'm referring to the shapes that those chords are played in in the standard open tuning without the capo. So it's I know it's not the same chords, but just to keep things consistent, I'm going to say the shape of the chord. So let's start out with verse one, which is the introduction. So verse one starts out like this. I break it up into three parts. So the first part starts out on the 11th fret of the B string, and then you hammer onto the 13th fret and strum it again, and then strum the 11th fret of the high E string, and then back to the 13th fret of the B string. And you wanna keep it nice and tight. So you don't want it to ring out like this. You wanna play it nice and tight like this. All right, and then you slide down to the ninth fret on the B string, and you play that, the 11th note, and then hammer on to the 13th note. And then you got your first chord, which is 11 on the A string, and then eight on the D, G, and B strings, into 11, eight, eight, nine on the B string. So 11 on the, H, on the A string, and then eight on the D string and G string, and nine on the B string. Okay, and all together that goes like this. Okay, and you play that twice. So that was part one of how to play the first verse. Here's how you, the part two goes. This part, in my opinion, is the hardest, but bear with me here. Again, we're going to the 13th fret of the B string, then to the 11th and 13th fret of the high E string, the 989 on the B string, six on the high E string, hammer onto the eighth fret, okay? And then shift your, that finger that you just hammer on to, shift it down one string to the B string, Drop your middle finger onto the eighth fret of the G string, back up to the B string, back down to the G, six, eight on the B string, and then again on the G string, eight, slide down to the fifth fret. Okay, so just running through that again, it's and then the final chord is this which it's the fifth fret on the G string, the sixth fret on the B string, and then the fourth fret on the high E string. And the rhythm for that is. So down, down, up. Okay, so that is how you play part two. So again, all together, it's this. And then part three goes like this. Which is the 13th fret on the B string, 11, 13 on the high E string, 12 on the G string, 13 on the B, 12 on the G, 11, 13 on the high E string. And then the final chord is um, on the eighth fret, it's the G, the B, and the A string. Okay? Just barred like that. Okay? And that is how you play the first verse of Tech It. And now for the chorus. So I saw one of the guitar players of Kafune upload a video on how to play it on TikTok, and I modified it slightly. So the way that I visualize it is it's one phrase played four times, but slightly different each time. So here's the phrase. Okay, 
And so how that goes is the first shape, which is going to be played the same all four times, same rhythm, it's this. So fourth fret on the A string. You don't play the D string. Third fret on the G string. Open B, okay? And the rhythm again is. Okay, and then you slide up to the sixth fret on the A string, the fifth fret on the D string, and then the open G. And the, the first time playing it through the rhythm is going to be this. And then you hit the open E, land on this chord, which is on the eighth fret, and it's the A string. You kind of mute the D string, and then the G and B on the eighth fret. So all that's on the eighth fret. Okay, so that is the phrase. The second time, again, you play the, the first shape the same way. The second shape is the same, but you strum the G string twice as opposed to once. So the first time you do it like this. The second time you do it like this. Okay, so you, you heard how I strum like that twice. The first time is this. The second time is this. Okay, and then back to that open E, back to that chord on the eighth fret. The third time is exactly like the first time, but you have two options. So the first option is you can play it exactly like how you played it the first time. The second option is instead of landing on this chord, for the final time, you land on this. Okay? And that is all on the third fret, and it's the A string, the D string, the open G, open B, and then third fret on the high E string. Okay? So that's the third time through. And then the fourth time, you do the first shape like usual. The second shape is slightly different. So you do the but instead of landing on the sixth fret, you land on the open A. So instead of doing this, you do this. You heard the difference? And you go into this chord, then into this one. And this chord, is third fret on the A string, fifth fret on the D string, third fret on the G string, and then fourth fret on the B string. Okay. And to this one, which is fourth fret on the A string, sixth fret on the D string, fifth fret on the G string, and then sixth fret on the B string. So, so we go. So that's how the chorus goes. Now for verse two, it starts out a little bit differently. So it goes like, it starts out like this. Okay, and that's your A minor shape, which is this, which is uh, the A string is open, and then the third fret on the D and G, second fret on the B, open E, okay? Into the G shape, which is fourth fret on the E string, third fret on the A string, open on the D, G, B, all open, and then fourth fret on the high E string. Okay. And then the final shape is this one, which is like your E minor, but you add the pinky on the, uh, the third fret of the high E string. So open E, and then on the third fret on the A string and D string, open G and B, and then third fret on the high E. And the way that you strum that chord, so these ones are all strummed like chord, the, the A minor and the G are strummed like chords, so like this. And then this one 
I kind of do, I strum those three and then individually and then strum the top three together. So I do it like this. And then strum the top three together. And then strum it all together. Like that. So all together would sound like this. So you played that chord progression twice, this. Play that twice, and then you go into the second part of the first verse where you did this. You do that, and that's where I play it different than Kafune because that's not how they play it. But instead of doing this, you just do this. Okay? So if you were to combine all that together, you do the little. Okay? So you already. I already showed you how to play that in the first verse, but it's just slightly modified. So that's how you play the second verse. And then the chorus is exactly how I played it the first time earlier in this video. And then in the end, when you land on this chord, okay, so you know, at the end you do. Instead of just going into that A minor again, you just go back to that first shape, which is this. And you're just gonna do these two chords for a while. And that's the bridge until you get to the outro, which is the A minor shape into the E minor shape, which I actually would drop my pinky on the third fret again of the high E string. So it's like this into the A minor again into the G shape. Okay. And that's going to be your outro. You're going to be doing the A minor into the E minor with the added pinky and then the A minor again into the G. And then the final chord that you land on of the song is this. It's pretty similar to the G, except you drop the pinky and then it's the fourth fret on the A string, the third fret on the D string, and then the rest are open. Okay, so. is how I played my cover of Kafune's Tech It. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay cool like a cloud and have a great day.